In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a software called Similar Content. Similar Content is an SEO optimization tool that helps you research, optimize, analyze, and grade your writing. In other words, it's a tool you use alongside Google to help get your content in the top spaces of Google. I will leave a link below this video, which will get you the latest and greatest discount for similar content. And if you could do me a massive favor by tapping the like button, and if you have any questions whatsoever about similar content, drop them below and I tend to respond within a couple of hours. Here we are in the similar content dashboard this is the pro version before we start creating a project and you can watch me create a bit of a blog uh, let's go ahead and explore all the different options first you have topic difficulty check and if you click create new project and then enter a keyword so for me it's going to be dog training this will pop up go ahead and select the relevant keyword and then do create new project. On the right hand side, this will start spinning and it will start fetching all the content from Google. Whilst this is loading, let's carry on with the rest of the features. This is the content optimizer and this is where you would enter your focus topic for your content. So it's, in other words, it's gonna grade what's going on. So if we go ahead and click this web link icon here, go ahead and paste in a URL that you want it to analyze. And I'm gonna do fetch text and HTML. It scraped that page, imported all of the information there, including the H1, H2, H3 tags. And on the right, it's given an overall keyword coverage score, and it's telling you how optimized this web page is. So you can see this one's not very well optimized. All the keywords, which is a really nice touch, and then the sub keywords of this, which is fantastic if you want to start creating blog content. It's like an instant cheat sheet and basically stealing other people's hard work, uh, which <laughs> let's face it, it's about working smarter, not harder. Next, you've got the ranking predictor, relevant each keyword is and how well it's going to do. Next, you've got readability score. Let's go ahead and click analyze. So this breaks it down into grade levels, timing, sentiment, and text statistics. It breaks down each of these things and ultimately it gives you a greater insight in why this article's doing well and all the things that you should be somewhat replicating and making it your own. You can actually see save this information into a separate project, but we're gonna carry on uh, exploring all the other features. So here is similar headline analyzer, and this is where it's going to help create better headlines. So if we type in how to train a dog to sit, do analyze, and it tells you how relevant it is to the core keyword, which is dog, which has got an 84. The sentiment is neutral, and it's got a zero emotional score. The best headlines are usually the ones which have some sort of emotional attachment. Let's move on to topic idea generators. If you're a little stuck on what sort of keywords or topics to start writing about or including, this is where you would enter the main keyword. So dog training and then do generate new ideas. It then loads the core keyword and then subcategories and sub keywords of everything under the overall recommended keyword. And you can see these are pretty related and quite frankly, it gives you a ton of things to start focusing on. You can export the entirety of all of these keywords or select a few and click export. And it's formatted in a really nice way where you've got the core keyword at the top and then the breakdown of all the other keywords relating to it. Next, we have the similar question analyzer. Questions are a fantastic way of getting seen on Google, especially with the snippet area on Google search. So all you'll do is similar questions analyzer. So you'd enter your keywords. So I'm going to enter dog training and then you can filter it by keywords or domain name. I'm gonna leave it at keywords and do find questions. And now it's generated a few related questions all about dog training. Moving on to content rewrite. This area, you simply enter some text and it will rewrite that text. I'm just gonna copy this little bit of text here and then paste it in and do rewrite your content. I'll go ahead and let you pause the screen if you want to have a read of this. But I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to keywords density. Now, if you want to bypass all the keyword research stage and manually go through articles of your competitors, this is the area that you'll do that in. You would click on this link icon here, paste in the URL and do fetch text and HTML. Then you go ahead and do check keywords. And you can see what it's done is it's scraped all the single words and it's given a density and a frequency rating. And then it's the same with two words. 
and then three words as well. This is incredibly helpful for SEO research and it's just a really nifty feature in my opinion. What's also really nice about this is that you can choose to share this. So click share, paste it into your browser and anyone can have a look at all of this, which is pretty cool. Heading back to the first thing that we started, which was the topic difficulty checker. We're gonna go ahead and click on that project. And now it gives you a snapshot of how hard or easy and basically what's going on with this, this keyword. So this over here is how hard it's going to be on a grading scale. And you can see it says super hard to rank for dog training. You wanna get in the top positions. This is the sort of score that you're going to need. And then the backlink difficulty as well is at 41, which again is quite difficult. If we move down, it shows you the content scores for the top articles ranking for that. And scrolling down, it gives us another breakdown of all the keywords which can be relating to dog training and variations of that. The last thing it shows is the SERP analysis. It gives you a snapshot of the SERPs as well as a breakdown of the ratings to help you decide if this is something that you want to try and rank for. Let's move on to projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and do create new project and I'm gonna type in dog training. Once you've created a project, it brings you back to the content optimizer where it will drag all the information of an article in there and then it will let you start doing the basis of optimizing it, changing things around, revamping your own content and just overall help with the actual optimization. So an example of this is you can see that step one, step two, step three are all H2 tags, which isn't ideal for keyword optimization. Step one it is all about the basics. We can use this information here, which is dog and training, even combine them together and say the basics of, of dog training. So now we have an H2 tag, which includes some main keywords. And if we do check now, you can see the score just went up. So what are my thoughts on similar content? I actually think it's a really nifty tool. I'm not a huge fan of certain elements on the page. I think fields need to become a bit more clearer, especially like importing URLs and stuff like that. But overall, you can be within five to 10 minutes of just playing around with the software, you'll be able to fully understand what it's all about and start implementing it for your optimization. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.